Hey, hey everybody. everybody, welcome, welcome to, to the Hutch, Hutch Food Adventures. Adventures. Today we have a treat for you and us, you know yeah. how we do. Starting the morning off right with some caffeine. From Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros, <laughs> Dutch Bros, Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Like oh, I'm out of the shot? Yeah, I feel like maybe if we turn the camera a little bit that way. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, that's We fine. have one other little bro in the back. <laughs> And he's telling us our time is running short. Should I hold him? Oh, now there he goes. You don't even know he's there. You don't even know he's there. Kobe is in her arms right now. And you guys wouldn't even know if it wasn't for his little baby squid. And for like 120 more subscribers, you can see him in her arms. We're Kobe almost there. Will, yep. Toby will join the Hush Food Adventures family. Okay, so we went to Dutch Bros. We have all, they're all iced. They're all Drop iced. Them. We got three drinks and oh, one you little got snack. Mine hot. Really? Yeah. It's okay though. I didn't, you never get a hot coffee. It's okay. I wanted to try it hot. Oh. It's okay. Okay, so we so have a few things. We, we have got a few things. Okay, we got um, this is a nine one one. Six shots of espresso. Six shots of espresso. My friend Pretty recommended crazy. this to me. He said it gave him a heart attack. I read that if five you drink, stars. If you drink half of it, then you're gonna be shaky. I have before gotten uh, anxiety through too much caffeine in one day, so. Same. We'll see if that happens today. Pretty, I'll let you know. It's pretty terrifying. It's pretty terrifying. It's, yeah, it's really terrible. It's not fun at all. And then mine is the... Uh, this is called the Golden Eagle. The Golden Eagle, which is like vanilla, caramel. If you like those things, you probably like this mm. from what I have read. So we'll see. And we got whipped cream in these bad boys too. And then last but not least for the drinks, Ooh. we have a milkshake. This is, it seems kind of liquidy, like you could just it beast on this bad boy. Yeah, it's a white chocolate milkshake. What? Yeah, white mocha, I think she called it. Really? Yeah, I think she called it white mocha. Interesting. Um, it's got white then, chocolate on the website. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we got a cranberry orange muffin. Or orange an cranberry. orange cranberry, if you want to correct people. <laughs> okay, so that's our muffin and these are our coffee. <laughs> So we're gonna get started on trying them. Yeah, this place is always super crowded. Apparently it's only on the West Coast. The line is always, they always have a double line wrapped around the building. So we wanna see what the hype's all about. Okay, so gold is, is it gold? worth it? We got two questions to ask today. Is it worth it? And is it better than Starbucks? Yeah. I wonder what the number they write on there is. It says like 3.83. Mm, maybe it's like what car you're in? Mm. Okay. It's probably their system. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mm. Mm. This is delicious. Golden yeah. Eagle. It has the perfect balance mm. of coffee, mm. caramel, and vanilla. It's like, if you're not like, if you're not like a super heavy coffee drinker, you'd probably like this because it's sweet. Mm -hmm. And it's like very dessert. Ooh, that's desserty too. <laughs> I think it was delicious. Um, if I had to compare it to my go-to Starbucks, I honestly think they're like they're both <laughs> coffee. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I will say this is it's blended, and when I didn't know what blended was, I was like, "What well, is that? Been cold?" And she's like, like "It's like a frappe," but. It's not like a frappe to me. It's more almost just like iced coffee. Like it's not as, sometimes yeah. frappes you get through the delicious part and then it's like too much ice at the bottom. Yeah. And then you gotta wait for that bad boy to melt a bit. Not in this, this thing it's like, you can probably beast on this whole thing. This has six shots of death in it. Tastes delicious. Tastes like sweet coffee. You gonna try it? Yeah, you can try mine too. Okay. I'm gonna try this golden eagle out. Mm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Tastes like coffee. Mm -hmm. I will say that that's not wow. bad. It tastes strong. So it's like, obviously, if you drink a whole one, yeah. you can taste the jitters. <laughs> but um, it doesn't taste nasty. Usually, strong coffee is nasty, but I want to say that was nasty, but 
Um, yeah. You definitely have to be a coffee drinker to like that one. To me, <laughs> it didn't even taste like strong coffee. It just tastes like coffee. But then after I tasted yours, I realized, oh, yeah, this tastes way more coffee-like than yours. Yeah. Yours tastes like a delicious like caramel said. dessert. Definitely. Wow. Definitely. So okay. far, so good. So I, far, actually, so good. I like the ice ratio because I hate having to wait for the good for like I hate running out of the good part and having to wait for ice to melt. Well, yeah, definitely. That's annoying because then it's like you're trying to break it down and then you've lost most of the flavor and then exactly. you're just drinking it just to finish it. Yeah, it's like the ratios be off sometimes. But this, even this milkshake, I'm like, this is dangerous. I feel like I can beast on this Seems milkshake. Very milky. Okay, so white mocha slash white chocolate milkshake. You want to do the honors? Sure. Okay. It is very milky. Yeah. They put the milk in milkshake. It seems almost like maybe too thin for a milkshake normally. Mm-mm. Really? Mm. Y'all. That <laughs> slaps. Mm. <laughs> I had to say it. Mm. Look. It looks very liquidy and it looks like it wouldn't even be like, you're like, what the hell? But it's pretty freaking mm. good. And the consistency, it's like not so mm. thick where you're like struggling to get it through the straw. You know how some milkshakes are? Mm -hmm. It's just thick enough. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's probably like they, what a true milkshake is supposed to be. Right? It's like they're putting an emphasis on the consistency of your beverage. And I'm, and I'm happy with it. Like, I ain't mad at it. Like you said, you don't have to fight with your straw to drink it. Yeah. But it's still thick and creamy. Yeah. It's delicious. That's good. That was good. And you can add coffee to these. Like a coffee milkshake, I feel like that's cheating. Like that's too delicious. But I think that'd be good because of the consistency of it. So it's not like, like, ugh. You yeah, know? it's like really milky coffee. All right. Yeah. Now for the... Our orange muffin. cranberry muffin, which doesn't look like a muffin at all because it's almost flat. Okay, just oh. break a piece off for each of us. Okay. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good. I was not excited about the muffin at first because I'm not a big muffin person, but this looks pretty dang good. You guys, this it's... thing looks like it's just coated in sugar. And it seems like buttery, like it's like, so soft. Mm. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Orange cranberry muffin. Mm. Yo. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You guys. Mm. Oh, it's a muffin top specifically. Mm. That's exactly what this is. That you makes know, sense. if you are a muffin eater. You know, the muffin top mm. is the best part. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. That hits the spot. Mm-hmm. That is genius. To take the best part of the muffin and sell it. Yeah. And I don't even do muffins often, Let me have but it's piece. like the perfect consistency. <laughs> I am like, ooh, mm. And it's got these big old cranberries in it, the orange flavor. Mm. It's like perfection. Mm. The perfect thing to soak up your delicious coffee beverage. Let's rate this stuff. Okay. I'm going to say it's a 4.9. Woo! Yeah, that good. Because you know what? Muffin tops, selling muffin tops is freaking genius. <laughs> genius. <laughs> that coffee <And> hitting. <laughs> I think that the coffee was delicious. The customer service was great. The girl was like, I'm going to pay for two of your drinks. What? For what? I mean, don't I don't ask even know questions. why, but she said that. And you know what I noticed too? The girl at the window who handed the drinks, she literally leaned out the window and smiled until we were good. She like wanted to make sure that we were good. You know, like right? you go to McDonald's or something, they hand you the bag and they walk away and the window closes and you're like, can I, can I get That's true. Kitchen? It was super positive. Yeah, super positive. The fact that there's always a line that people complain about, which is a common complaint, at least around here. It's like they don't really, they don't have an inside. So it's like you eat outside, you go through the drive through Yeah. And considering those are the two options, they moved pretty quick. So we can't complain about that. Yeah. Um, nobody's perfect, but you know, 4.9, they're almost there. They had, um, I drove up too far so I could like barely grab the tray of drinks. Yeah. And I said, my bad, I drove too far forward. And she laughed 
and my joke like I was funny. Like he was funny. Yeah, I was like, wow, she laughed at that. That's I cool. think my only, the only reason why I don't give it a five is because I think the milkshake could be maybe a smidge thicker, just a smidge, because it's like when it sips out, it's gonna be cold. I will or say- it's gonna be melted. I will say one of my only um, negative critiques is that they ask you if you want whipped cream and like drizzle on top, but their cups don't really conform to it, so. It just like flattens out. Yeah, you ask for it, it and you flows. get it, and then it's like, why did I even get it, kinda? Because it's not, you're not gonna really get to, eat it. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like floating at the top. It's, and it's, it's very, for flavor. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to eat it on its own. It's going to just kind of blend into it. Yeah. But I would give it a 4.8. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I feel like everything was delicious. I would come back. I see why people come here. I mean, you really only need to be crazy about one thing to wait in a line. I would wait you know? in line for this muffin top all over again, just I for would, the muffin top. I would be, and we didn't even get to try everything. They have their own energy drinks. Oh. And I would, I feel like I really want, would, I'd be torn again, because I would want to do a milkshake and this, but if we're not doing a review, I don't get to have an excuse to be so gluttonous. So it depends on what time of day it is. True. It depends on how you're feeling. Are you kind of tired? Can you use a little pick-me-up? Will anybody judge you if you get two drinks and a muffin top? Yeah, they'll be like, dang, I don't see nobody in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I waited in this line. I might as well go hard. So well, there you have it, you guys. Yep. Dutch Bros is a West Coast thing. So for those of our Hutch foodies on the West Coast, if you have had it, let us know what you thought. Is it the in and out of coffee? Yeah. Is it better than Starbucks? Is it better than Starbucks? What do you order? Let us know. Do you know comment. someone who's had a heart attack from drinking the 911? Don't say that. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share with your friends. And hit the noti bell. Ding! Thanks for watching, guys. It's been real. Bye. Bye.